All right, folks, a little bit on uh, basic plumbing. Um, this is a return number one on this particular pool. I like to see them 12 inches below bond beam. So that's return number one. Over here, um, I always like to put this in a, a mid-pool application. This is our pullback line or our cleaner line. You guys have a navigator, a barracuda, a creepy crawler, it doesn't matter. I like to see people put these in a mid-pool application. This is in the center. Uh, this particular pool is about 40 feet long, so we have it in the middle. Don't have your plumber put this on one end or another. Always put your pool back in a mid-pool application. All your manufacturers should tell you that. Um, this is a big one missed uh, by a lot of uh, shock creek companies. You guys, after your pool is shock treated like this, make sure they channel out. So after the shock creators leave, you can put a 90 on this, and this is your aerator fitting, where that aerator sprinkles water over the pool. You want it to come out in the middle of your pool tile. So this is not a return. This is a pullback, mid-pool location. Obviously, we have our light here uh, as well in a mid-pool application. This would be our second return in the swimming pool. Again, 12 inches below the top of the bond beam. This is the diving into the pool. We have our split main drains here, two main drains split, three feet apart. This will be our return number three um, in the diving into the pool. Again, 12 inches below the bond beam. If you guys notice up here, there's three. This is not on a normal swimming pool. The, the three, uh, three quarter inch pipes up there, this particular pool is getting a, a water feature, masonry scupper, so that's what those are for. Uh, finally, this is our last return. So most pools, you see a lot of pool builders put three returns. I personally like to put four returns and then loop them together so we have equal return coming into the pool. So this will be my fourth return. And last, uh, skimmer. This, I like to put skimmers closest in the background. If you guys can see, is the swimming pool equipment. I like to locate these skimmers. Uh, to have a close uh, suction run from here to the equipment. Less time travel, better pressures if you can locate your skimmers as close to the pool equipment as possible. That's pretty much it. Our last pipe here is an automatic water leveler. Um, we live in Arizona. I insist that all my pools do have automatic water levelers. And that pretty wraps up the basic pool plumbing.